Honey, guess what I found in the living room? A dead horse. <laughs> That's not very funny. Well, I guess I don't have much of a sense of humor. Oh, getting your morning breath of fresh air? <laughs> Naturally. Okay. You win. You win. Here are your walnuts back. My walnuts? Yeah, the ones you strewed all over the living room floor. Now, why would I do that? Because I teased you last night. Oh, Rob, you know I don't do silly things like that. Well, if you didn't do it, then who did? Well, maybe it was Kolak or one of his friends from the planet Twilo. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Rich. You have your breakfast? Yeah, I had a nice bowl of hot walnuts. <laughs> Here's your lunch, dear. Hurry, you'll be late for school. Oh, boy, a bag of walnuts. Yay! <laughs> well, what for breakfast, darling? Fried, poached, or scrambled? Scrambled, please. One or two. <laughs> Why don't you have more than two, dear? They're awfully small today. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll eat at the office. Oh, Rob, darling. Wait, I hate to see you go off without having something to eat. Now, that is a little bit more like it. Here, you can eat this on the way to work. <laughs> you're, you're not, you're not going to fix me any breakfast, are you? But darling, I offered to fix well, all right, all right. Have your fun. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Hi, gang. Sorry I'm late. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm short. I'm sorry I'm single. <laughs> hey, what's that, you, Rob? A house full of walnuts. Well, buddy, shall I say it or shall we both say it? I think we ought to both say it. A house full of walnuts. <laughs> well, Laura was getting even with me this morning because I scared her last night. You scared her? What'd you do, show up? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was pretending that I was this guy, Colac, who breeds water. Oh, oh yeah, the blind monster they threw out of the U.N. He came from the planet Twilo. You see that picture? No, they make a picture out of that. <laughs> <laughs> last night on television. No, I was at the U.N. the day it happened. <laughs> Listen, if this guy didn't have those four eyes, I'd have married him. What did uh, all this got to do with walnuts? Oh, you see, all these creatures from the planet Twilo only eat... <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? What noise? I heard a noise just now. Yeah, I heard it, too. It's like uh, walnuts cracking. Yeah. yeah. So what? Well, I don't know where to come from. Well, it might have come from me. I just cracked a couple. <laughs> All right, buddy. Who put you up eating walnuts? Well, if you must know, I switched from pistachios. <laughs> you always eat walnuts, doesn't everybody? Uh, Rob, are you all right? I'm not sure until I find out where Buddy got the idea of eating walnuts just now. Why does it have to be an idea? I was hungry. I like walnuts. <laughs> come on, buddy. Where'd you get them? What's the difference? Did Laura call you this morning and tell you to eat walnuts? Why are you guys looking at each other? Rob, wouldn't you look at a friend if another friend asked you if his wife called and told him to eat walnuts? <laughs> now, come on. Where did you get the walnuts? Our guest star gave them to me. Oh, I don't know. I think Laura was that mad at me. To go to such a complicated, practical joke. I don't understand it. It's not like her. Rob, I hate to interrupt you while you're talking to yourself, but could we get down to work, please? I have a very important luncheon engagement. How about we, uh, we do the spot for the guest? You know, get that out of the way. The best idea you've had all day. All right, good. What do we do? Well... <laughs> all right, who put that in there? Kolak. <laughs> now, come on, let's open the show. How about using for an opening a good boy-girl number? I don't think the TV world is quite ready for a boy-girl number sung by Alan Brady and Danny Thomas. <laughs> Danny Thomas? Is uh, Danny Thomas the guest star this week? You told us about it. I did? Sure, don't you remember? He even put a reminder in the drawer. <laughs> See? You guys are very, very thorough. Oh, come on, let's get to work. I'm not going to work with you or anybody else. You guys promised me to stop fooling around and trying to scare me. Should we stop fooling around and trying to scare him? Rob, 
We'll, we'll stop fooling around and trying to scare you. <laughs> you knock it off. <laughs> Can't figure out how I forgot Denny Thomas was on the show this week. You know, funny thing. Yeah. Yeah, I know a funny thing. A nearsighted turtle falling in love with an army helmet. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to do to me, but the joke is over. You understand that? The joke is over. Now, I'll tell Laura how good you were, all right? Now, if it's not too much trouble, may we please get down to work. Rob, if I didn't know you better, I swear you've lost your sense of humor. <laughs> Why did you just say that? Maybe he's lost some absorbitron. You did see that movie, didn't you? No, I told you I was at the UN. Remember Dollface? <laughs> Some stranger today. Hi, ho, everybody. Oh, boy, Mel, am I glad to see you. Oh, what? Mel, look, <clears throat> I want to ask you a question. I want a straight answer from you. Who is this week's guest star on the show? Uh, I, why, Danny Thomas. Did, did my wife tell you to put Danny Thomas on the show? No, no, as a matter of fact, she was against it. She wanted Kolak. <laughs> did Laura tell you to say that? She did, didn't she? Do did you, did you tell them to say that? They told you to say that, didn't they? Huh? You guys are putting me on. They're putting me on. And, and now, now, Rob, pull yourself together. You, you look terrible. Here, this will make you feel better. Take two of these with a glass of air. Ah. I thought you guys were my friends. Yeah, buddy, how's about we work on the opening monologue? Of course, pal. <laughs> Forget, Rob. Thumbs up. <laughs>